George Porcard, and this is another Higher Things video short. How to handle someone who sins. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Hey, if you love our videos, if you are learning about your faith from places you never expected to learn about your faith from, a Missouri Synod Lutheran pastor and his dog who doesn't catch treats named Thor, go ahead and like and subscribe today. You can also go to support.irethings.org and give today a tax-deductible gift. We need them. Help us. We make these videos in order to train parents, pastors, congregations, um, how to answer questions. So like if you're an adult watching it, we're pro you. Help us out. If you're a young person watching this, we're doing this for you. Help us out. Give today. He didn't even try. Galatians 6.1 is our Bible study. Brothers, if anyone is overtaken, surprised, caught. If any man is caught in a certain parapetoma, sin or trespass, different word for it, transgression, uh, you guys who are spiritual should um, bring them out or bring them up. Restore that one in a spirit of gentleness. You should restore them in a spirit of gentleness. You should complete them, help them in a spirit of gentleness. Um, also, keeping watch, looking out for yourselves, let, lest you also be tempted. And so how do we handle when someone falls into sin? Well, first off, listen to how the apostle speaks. If anyone is surprised by a sin, if anyone is caught in a trust, like, um, like the, uh, I don't like the ESV here because the ESV sounds like, like you caught them in a sin. That's not what's going on here. The person is caught. They're surprised. They're overtaken. They're jumped. They're mobbed by a sin. How often do we think when people sin, you did just deliberately, when in actuality, sin has come up from behind them and tackled them. It has, it has, it has, it has mugged them. And we should think that of them and not think you thought this out all along. You were deliberately doing this. You mean wrecked, wretched person. No. Sin tackled them. Sin surprised them. Sin caught them off guard. They weren't intending to sin. They ended up sinning. So you, you, you first begin with that. Listen to how the apostle speaks. They were caught up in a sin. They were, they, they're on, they're a victim too. The victim of sin or slavery to sin. Well, that's hard to do when they do something against you. I know. I know. You who are spiritual. And spiritual here doesn't mean I never ever sin anymore. No, you who are spiritual are those who are in the word, those who confess their sins and rece receive forgiveness. Those folks should restore, should raise the other people up gently in a spirit of gentleness. Not you are going to hell! <laughs> that doesn't work. All that does is make people defensive. Look, I want to tell you about Jesus. I want to tell you about the forgiveness of sins. I want to pull you out of this ditch. I want to help you. Let me help you. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about how this wasn't a helpful choice you made. And let's talk about the ramifications of this choice. But, but most of all, Let's talk about the forgiveness of sins. The same God who died for you died for them. The same God who saves you saved them. Jesus on the cross is the answer to your sins. Jesus on the cross is the answer to their sins. And so you go with a spirit of gentleness, understanding that sin has overwhelmed them. And you help them out. But you be watchful. Because pride is a terrible sin. Looking down on somebody is a terrible sin. 
screw tape letters again, one of my favorite sections. Um, Wormwood is talking to his his demon commander or whatever, overseer. I can't get this Christian. I can't get this Christian. I can't, I can't convince this. I can't make this Christian sin. He's, he's just a good person. And the devil says, have you told him he's a good person? So when you are correcting someone, you need to do it in a spirit of gentleness, not judging them because I promise you judging and looking down on them is the surest way to find yourself within a short time in the very same spot. You who are spiritual, you who have been forgiven, you who are baptized, bodied and blooded, worded, you who eat and drink life and forgiveness, you restore them gently. Watching yourself lest you be lest you be dragged into sin too. You see, when you realize that the difference between you and the person that's been tackled into sin is just that that sin hasn't tackled you, other sins have, you're much more compassionate and merciful to somebody who's fallen into the ditch. Because Christ saved you. Christ saved them. God keep you, by the grace of God, keep you from those sins. There's just no place in the Christian faith for us to look down on someone else. I don't care if they did the worst sin. There's no place in the Christian faith for us to be judging and hating one another because of sins that they've fallen into. And, this, and even pastors get guilty of this. Spiritual pride and judgment. We, have, we suffer from it too. I promise you, every sin that you've fallen into, I've either been tempted with or I've fallen into it too. And I only know the mercy of God. I only know the forgiveness of God. I only know Christ. God doesn't look on your sins, so I'm not going to look on your sins. God doesn't judge me for my sins, so I'm not going to judge you for your sins. Will there be consequences for your actions? Probably. But not with God and not with me. Let me help you out of the ditch. And the same God who has helped them out of the ditch will help you out of the ditch if and when you fall into it. But God save us from it. The grace of God rescue us from it. That's how you look after people who have fallen into transgressions. I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.